welcome to this very special episode of Storyboard and it's not just me hosting Storyboard today. I have a co-host sharing the frame with me. That's Sonal Dabral and we have a very special guest. So who's our guest, uh, Sonal? Okay, so we are very lucky to have this guest here because uh, uh, besides being a truly great human being, yeah, he's a legend, creative legend, he's a true visionary, he's a pioneer. Uh, and uh, who has, uh, with, the, with the strength of his, with the power of his creativity, shaped many a brands in his lifetime and continues to influence many a minds across the world with his work, with his, with his presentations, with his, with his words of wisdom. So it's, we are really lucky to have him here at Cannes uh, sharing with us some of those uh, words of wisdom. Thank you very much, Keith. And that person is Keith Reinhardt. <laughs> You're welcome. And he's also Sonal's boss. <laughs> yeah. So all the nice words, you know why. <laughs> it's nice to be here. And thank you for <laughs> the kind Each of those words came from the heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm such a huge fan of You Deserve a Break. If you were to recreate You Deserve a Break in today's day and age, what would it be like? Well, I hadn't thought about that, but... Uh, I think people still deserve a break, so it would still be relevant, I think, still be a viable uh, invitation or proposition. And with, you know, this was created in 1971, so we didn't have all the new tools of, uh, that technology has brought us. And uh, now, though, in this sharing culture, mm. I, I suppose my mind would go toward uh, how can I share this idea with people around the world. So if uh, Sonal does something uh, really wonderful in India, uh, I could uh, say, Sonal, you deserve a break. <laughs> and I could send him uh, some McDonald's fries or I could send him something else to say, you deserve a break. Or if he had a particularly bad situation, you know, <clears throat> working and working to get a new business pitch and then not getting it. Not that that would ever happen to Sonal, but say he had a setback. Mm. So now you deserve a break. Yes. And I could send him something. I also think the idea could be bigger mm. than just, uh, you know, exchanging McDonald's food mm. or the McDonald's experience. I would think that a company like McDonald's with their resources could search the world and maybe once a year find an individual hmm. or an organization that truly deserves a break. Awesome. Yeah. And, and hold them up hmm. uh, for public recognition and maybe even support them in some pretty way, in some uh, specific way. I think there would be lots of possibilities now with the, with the new uh, technology. It already sounds like a great idea. Yeah, yeah. good, thank you. Uh, talking of you deserve a break, in 1999, uh, advertising Age voted it to be the number one jingle in advertising yes. history. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's that's uh, <laughs> the time that they they, they they also heralded you as the hundred most powerful advertising influentials. Right. Again, in the history of advertising. Yeah. So uh, and uh, I have seen that film a few times and that jingle. The and first one, the introductory yeah, commercial. Yeah, the introductory commercial. With the guys cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, yeah, the guys yeah, cleaning, and it's got it's got uh, and coming from a country which kind of there's beautiful. I mean, there's great music in our country in India. Uh, it has got this uh, the, the the kind of energy it has is very very infectious. Yeah. You know. Well, so I'd uh, would be great if you kind of share how that how it came about. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, uh, I have to say that um, some uh, works of creativity are inspiration and some are uh, frustration and some are desperation. And uh, You Deserve a Break Today was an act of desperation. Wow. <laughs> because uh, I'll try to make this quick, but we won the McDonald's account, no creative was allowed. Mm. So when we won, they said, okay, now we have to have a creative campaign. And we had research showing that people wanted to get out of the house. Mm. Uh, women wanted to get away from meal planning. Yep. And uh, dads wanted to get away from high price, take the mm. family to a, an expensive place and a clean place. Mm. And so we came up with this, this very corny yep. <laughs> concept called come to the McDonald's Islands. Each McDonald's store was like an island. island. <laughs> and you could nice. escape to the cool. island. Like an oh, yes. oh, nice. And uh, 
looking back, I'm so glad we weren't allowed to run it because it could have been a nice promotion, but it didn't have the kind of durability. Yeah. Yeah. So suddenly we're in Hollywood, second day of shooting for Come to the McDonald's Islands. We had a song. Wow. And we get a call from McDonald's Legal saying you can't use this because there's a chain of root beer stands in Nebraska or someplace that using islands of pleasure, so you can't do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we have two days of shooting, yes. and we have no campaign, wow. yes. and we have deadlines. Wow. So I called the two best music people I knew in New York, and I flew from Hollywood to New York, and I went to the first one, uh, who had written uh, Pepsi Generation, yep. and uh, he said, uh, you know, if we continue this conversation, it's $50,000. I said, okay, conversation's over. Hmm. And I went to Sid Wollison, who's uh, campaigned for... Um, uh, Pan Am Airlines at that time. Yeah. Pan Am makes the going great. It was fabulous. Yeah. He said, well, do you have a line? I said, well, it's like get up and get away to McDonald's, but we don't really have a, a line. I'll start working on that. Sure. Yeah. And he said, okay, well, we'll take that line and we'll start working on some tunes. So they came back with a Broadway tune. And I go back to the hotel room and I start writing on Ray Kroc's obsession with cleanliness. <laughs> and that was the first lyric I wrote. Oh, wow. So in, in the Drake Hotel in New York City, grab a bucket and mop, scrub the bottom and top, tell me what there is nothing so clean as my burger machine. Uh, with a broom and a brush, clean it up for the rush. Uh, before they open the door, put a shine on the floor. Nice. And then the end was, we're so near yet far away, like the islands. Yeah. Yep. So get up and get away to McDonald's. So we take, we record it. The music is fantastic. Everything works. We take it to McDonald's and they say, oh, we like that. Yeah. But what would they say at the end? I said, well, they say, we're so near, geographically, but yeah. far away. Yep. Yeah. They said, we don't like that. So now we've sold a campaign. We have eight notes that nice. need new words. And the word, <laughs> words were also sold, yeah? Or the rest Except of the words. The rest, the rest of them, yeah. Except oh, yeah, they like the last line. Last line yeah. But they don't like, we're so near yet far away. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So now we have eight notes that need new words. And we go back into the research, and women were using words like break and so forth. So I remember trying to say, okay, which note gets break, and then what do we ever do? And finally typing, you deserve a break today. Wow. Yeah. And that's how we came up with that. Nice. But wow. And we, in two days. <laughs> well, it was maybe a week, but uh, we wrote dozens of lyrics to that song hmm. yep. and dozens of different musical arrangements. But that one, the opening one about the obsession with cleanliness, uh, with cleanliness, and we we told the director who was Howie Morris, who used to be a comedian on the Sid Caesar show in the United States. We said that this should feel like a, uh, a sort of a an auto show. Uh, presentation like it's not professional really no. but you know it's fun and energetic and he directed it beautifully and these guys were and the reason we had no women in the in the crew uh, Ray Kroc the founder of McDonald's thought that the heavy boxes of frozen fried were too heavy for them to for women yeah. and so yeah. there were no that's why there were no women in the, mm -hmm. but Ray loved this commercial nice and uh, <clears throat> when we first showed him the the rough cut I looked for you know some reaction and he's like this and then some of the people around him said what do you think uh, Ray you think it's a little corny mm -hmm. and Ray had a very high voice and he says nothing wrong with a little corn let's, <laughs> let's see it again and you know before he was founder of McDonald's he was a piano player in Las Vegas so he, oh, so he understood music and wow. he liked that's, it that's amazing. And, and they said uh, but somebody else said but there's no food in this and uh, he was okay in subsequent research, the quality food scores were higher hmm. in this commercial than somewhere we showed the food. So, wow, yeah. wonderful. So, wow. You so, deserve a break to do so, so today, yes, I would. And they asked me when we sold them, you know, how long will this, could this campaign last? Does it have legs? I said, you should stop running this when people no longer deserve a break. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Grab a bucket and mop. Rub the bottom and top. There is nothing so clean as my burger machine. With a broom and a brush, clean it up for the rush. Before you open the door, 
What a shine on the floor When we finish one dance Start all over again Tell me what does it mean At McDonald's it's free Oh, no.